This time last year, I showed you how to clean your patio with a jet wash or pressure washer. And it was amazing how many people commented that the best way of doing it is with chemicals, which isn't something I've ever done before. So this year, I'm gonna use chemicals for the first time ever. And while I'm about it, I'm gonna review three of the leading UK products, just in case one of them doesn't work particularly well, so you don't have to waste your money, like I might have just done. So yes, after my jet washing of the patio video went out last year, I had a huge amount of comments telling me that I was wasting my time and I should be using chemicals to clean the patio rather than a pressure washer. And it was a lot easier and it would last a lot longer. Well, I don't know, I'll find out. But two of the main chemicals that people mentioned in those comments was patio magic and the patio cleaner with the catchphrase, simply spray and walk away. Well, that sounds really easy, but today we'll find out if it actually works as well. There's a certain amount of advertising in these products, so I'm keen to see for myself whether they work or whether it's just a big advertising spin. Now, two of them, the Jays and the Patio Magic, are concentrated, so I have to blend these with water, uh, four to one with water, to, before I start spraying. This one, the patio cleaner, is already diluted, so all I have to do is put that in the sprayer and spray it on. All of them have something in common, and that is they do emphasize PPE and the fact that you don't need, you mustn't get it in your eyes, so uh, eye protection is really important. I'm gonna be wearing uh, waterproof gloves as well. And the fact that no pets should be in the area until these have dried off for like a number of hours. So obviously if you're, if you're doing this, and you've got dogs and cats, you need to be aware they mustn't be in the area. And all of them need to be used in the dry. So you need to be aiming a dry, fine day with no rain for at least four hours until these dry on the surface, which today is. Now, all of these use fairly nasty chemicals and are all described as poison and can cause eye irritation, as I said just now. All the instructions say that once the surface is dried, the chemical has essentially gone, it's evaporated, and there's no long-lasting problems with pets or wildlife or any residual effects at all. So I've got cleaning to do all around my house. I've got paving on three or four sides of my house. So I'm gonna split that up into areas, some is worse than others, and use these side by side so we can compare the differences. Now these two are obviously have to be diluted. This one, as I said, is ready to go. So I think I need to put this in the sprayer and let's start, well, spraying. I don't really know what's in these solutions and that's exactly why I think gloves and eye protection is a must. I'm using a very basic five litre garden spray here, which I'll put a link to in the description below, as well as the three products that I'm testing that I've all bought from Amazon. This first one requires no dilution, so straight into the spray pump and away we go. The four areas I'm trying these cleaners on have varying levels of dirt and algae on them. As you can see down the side of my house where the paving has a slight green tinge to it. So I spray the first third of this area with the Pro Clean Patio Cleaner and then move on to the next two sections out the front of the house and give these a good soak too. And then finally, the larger area at the back of the house. With this done, I decompress the sprayer and return the solution I haven't used back into the bottle. And move on to the next solution, which is the Patio Magic. I fill the sprayer with two litres of water and then add half a litre of the Patio Magic, giving me a four to one dilution as the instructions suggest. 
I then go around and soak the next third of each area in exactly the same way. I dilute the J solution in the same way and spray the last third of each area. This section at the front is actually the worst. I think it must be because it's on the leeward side of the house. And the algae growth is quite bad and really quite visible as well. Lastly, just out of interest, I finish off spraying up to a board to see if in a few days time I can see a difference on either side of this slab once the solution has done its stuff. So that was, I must admit, pretty easy. It didn't actually take more than a few minutes. Obviously, the one that I didn't have to dilute is the easiest one to use because you just put it in and spray. But the whole spraying process is 10 times easier than getting out your jet washer and your hose and getting power and then spending minutes on each square meter and then moving around the house. That is a lot easier. The only drawback at this stage is that I can't see any difference. The whole way this works is that you put it on the surface and then over the next few days, it starts getting rid of the algae and tidying things up. So at the moment, I know I've spent the money and I know I've put it on the floor, but I can't see any difference. I'm going to have to leave it a few days. Oh, that's really wet and nasty. I'm going to have to leave it a few days and come back. But anyway, ease of use, absolutely a lot easier than jet washing. Let's just hope something happens. So seven days have passed. All of these products say they should be left from like three to five days for maximum results. One of them said seven days. So I've now left it for seven days. So let's hmm, go and have a look. So this is the first area out the back of my house. And the first thing that actually I can see is that there's no difference between the three. I can't really tell which one was where. I must say there's no green tinge at all. There's nothing growing on the surface, a bit like over here. This is a good example of an area that I haven't done. So there's that sort of green tinge on here. Having said that, it's not as if the other area is really clean. I mean, it looks all right, but it's not like stunningly bright. If we just go around the corner here, this is the other first area. Well, not particularly green, but once again, not particularly clean either really. So this is the front of the house and obviously there's still quite a green tinge on these ones so that hasn't cleared it and that black mark over there definitely hasn't been cleaned up. They might be a little bit brighter and less green but definitely not what you call clean. And then the last area here where I put the board down only sprayed one part side of the board I can't even tell where it was. I don't know if it's this one or this one, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm expecting to see a difference between where I sprayed one side of the board and the other. And at the moment, I just can't see any difference at all. So after a week, that is really interesting. It wasn't really the result that I was thinking I was going to get. I was thinking that either they would do nothing or my patio would be sparkling clean and looking lovely. And it's really somewhere in the middle. Definitely, it's or anything that's green, like algae or mold, has disappeared. So any tinge of green has gone. But at the same time, my patio isn't clean. It's not green, but it's not clean. So I think the next step is for those two that I have to dilute, maybe I make up a more concentrated formula maybe a one-to-one -one rather than a four-to-one because it says that you can do that on the tub for tougher stains. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it on half a tile so we can see if there's any difference and see if that, well, makes any difference.
I mix 200 millilitres of water with the same amount of Patio Magic. And once again, I'm spraying half a slab so I can compare it with the half untouched. I do the same with the J's, then leave it to hopefully have an effect. So back again after three days, and I don't see any difference between one half of this slab and the other, and the same with this as well. I mean, then they're not green, any green has definitely disappeared, but definitely you wouldn't call these clean in any way. So to be honest with you, I wouldn't use this product solely. I could use it during the year on and off just to kill any algae, but I think to get this clean, you really need to use a pressure washer. There's no more I can do with these cleaners now, so I see what the pressure washer can do. And unsurprisingly, it has an immediate effect on the slab taking off the dirt. The white foam coming off the slab must be from the cleaner that I applied three days ago, because I've never used anything other than pure water through this pressure washer. So I can only conclude that it's a residue off of the cleaning solution. Now that's what I call clean. Although the three cleaners have removed any green from my tiles, I think only mechanical cleaning has the power and force to cut through 12 months of dirt buildup and clean the surface properly. While I go around the house with the pressure washer, I decide to change it to my rotary turbo nozzle thing that spins around and is supposed to cut deeper and quicker. It works sort of okay, but I don't find it any quicker. If you move too fast, I find it leaves a spiral shape that it hasn't cleaned, which means you need to give it a second go, which then slows you down. back to the very worst area that originally looked like this. And after applying the cleaners, it's not nearly so green, but only the power of the pressure washer really removes the dirt. So here's some details on the three cleaners that I've used here today. And just to note, although you might see that the bottle of Patio Magic is actually two and a half litres, I've used the price of a five litre bottle just for comparison against the others. The other thing you'll notice is the Pro Clean Patio Cleaner is significantly cheaper than the others. Although, as it doesn't get diluted down with water, it works out more expensive per litre once diluted. I put details and links for all of these in the description below the video. And lastly, back to the board I put down and sprayed up to. Well, I can't see any difference between the two sides a week or 10 days after spraying with the solution. But I definitely can see a difference using the pressure washer and it's immediate and I must say quite satisfying.
So in conclusion, what would I say about these products? Well, I suppose to be fair, they actually do what they say, because if you read them, they don't say everything's going to go back looking brand new. All they say is it gets rid of algae and prevents mold. So after having done what I've just done, I can confirm that all three of them kill algae and prevent green growth but none of them actually clean properly. For that, you really need a pressure washer or a jet washer. Out of the three, the easiest to use is definitely the Simply Spray and Walk Away Pro Clean Patio Cleaner, because all you've got to do is put it in your spray and spray it on the surface. Cost-wise, the other two are probably a bit cheaper because you dilute them so you get more for your money. But to be honest with you, other than the price difference and the fact that these two, you have to dilute down before you use them, I couldn't actually tell the difference between any of them. So if you want something to kill algae and keep everything from growing green, I would recommend any of these three. But if you want something to actually clean and make it, as, make it like a patio as clean as it was the day it was installed, this is only part of the solution. Maybe use this a few days before the weekend and then go around pressure washing and tidying everything up. That's just the way I look at it. These do a job and they do, from what I can see, they do it reasonably well. But it's not the be all and end all. And this, using these, isn't something that replicates using a pressure washer or just getting on your hands and knees and scrubbing. So for those people that say, I shouldn't have used a pressure washer, all I have to do is spray this, I disagree. This stops things from going green, but it doesn't actually clean like I want it to. Anyway, that's a surprising result, I suppose, and you live and learn. Up to you whether you use this or invest in a pressure washer and clean things properly. I hope this has been interesting and useful to you, so I will see you next time.